I swear, if anyone breaks my parents' vase, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah, I hid it in one of the locked rooms. But you know, Steph is going to pick the lock. Oh well, there's a game of spin the bottle going on already. You want in? Of course I'm going in. I want my birthday kisses from a random cutie. As the one throwing the party, and it also being my party, I would like to announce that I'm turning this game of spin the bottle into a front for seven minutes in heaven. There's a closet in pretty much every room of this house, so we might as well put them to use. Sound alright for everyone? Very well. Now, let's get this game underway. I'll be nice enough to let whoever started the game go first. Alright, my turn. Let's see who the lucky person that gets to kiss me is tonight. It's my birthday, so they better make these seven minutes really worth it. Let's see. Who's the lucky person who gets to kiss me? Wait a minute. Do I know you? Will you stop pushing me? I'm getting up already. Don't need to be shoved into my own closet. I got this, don't worry. Oh, Don, I do know you. Shit. What did I do to end up in here with you? I know I spun the bottle, fucking dumbass. I mean, what did I do so bad that karma ended up putting you and me together? No, it is that bad. You're the biggest nerd I know, and now I have to either kiss you, or miss out on my turn for seven minutes in heaven. Alright! Leave us, now! <sighs> Look, why on earth are you even here? From my knowledge, you weren't even invited to my party. My party, I might add. We hate each other, so... Out of all the parties to crash, why mine? Don't bother answering. I'm not going to believe you no matter what you say. For some reason, you're here now and stuck in a closet with me. I'm not sure if this is more torture for me or for you. But either way, we're stuck in here for seven minutes. Possibly more, considering they might be kind enough to author me an extra few minutes. Which once I might have been grateful for... But no, it just means I'm stuck in here with you for longer. Did I mention it's you? Why? I hate you because you're a nerd, loser, and loner, who keeps appearing in my way at school, after school, at the park, and now at my own party. Jeez. I put out into the universe that I don't want to see one person and boom, they're everywhere. You are so that bad. Look, we're not friends. Not even frenemies. Enemies, even. In fact, when I see you, I audibly groan. I feel so disgusted I almost throw up. I actually want to throw myself into a brick wall. Not even that I... Why do you look like that? No, you look sad. Why sad? Has it finally dawned on you that you ruined my birthday party by destroying one of my chances to kiss a random person? Oh, well, when I usually insult you, you just throw one back at me. I didn't think I actually hurt you when I say these things. You're more of a loser than I thought. Right, sorry. Look, you're a nerd and all, but that's not why I hate you. No, it isn't. If it makes you feel any better, I think you're pretty great. Too great, actually. Which is part of the reason why I hate you. You're too perfect. Like, untouchable by misfortune. You get good grades, you're smart. Well, book smart, not street smart. I've seen you nearly get run over more times than I can bear to count. Right, back to the topic... Since you just want to hear me sing your praises, the fact is, when I see you, 
I see this cute little perfect being who lives in a bubble of perfect and eats perfect little bowls of cereal for breakfast. Okay, what I'm trying to say is that you made me jealous. That you live in this perfect world. And you're always so nice. No matter how bad of a day you look like you're having, or no matter how many times I'm mean to you. I'm mean to you because you're perfect. And I want to be the one bad thing to make your world less perfect. You seriously only got from all of that is that I called you cute? You're dumber than I originally thought. Shit. I think someone's coming. Quick, kiss me. Yes, I'm serious. Kiss me. We need to, like, make them go away. And if they find us talking, they'll kick us out. Shut up and kiss me, nerd. Shh. Just one more. A little longer. To make sure... Can't be too safe. <sighs> huh? N no, nothing wrong. Just... You kiss plenty good for a nerd. Thanks. Wait, that better not be implying I'm also a nerd. Because I will take back all the nice things I said about you. I'm not no nerd, and you know it. I mean, I did mean them, yes. I'm sure I did. Because I'm failing to make your day worse, huh? Come on. I know my kissing isn't that bad. I've had plenty of practice, and large majority of those have experienced... Not what you meant. Gotcha. I'll shut up now. Hmm. Let me think. I rate this closet experience a solid 7 out of 10. Got to kiss a cute nerd, and definitely needed more kissing. What do you mean we can fix... That. <clears throat> gotcha. I think my extra birthday minutes are going to come in now. If anyone disturbs us again... We can just make other kinds of noises, and we don't have to fake those if you like. <laughs> Get on my lap. I want to do more than just kiss you now. Think of this as making up for all the times I called you something I didn't mean. And there's a lot of them, so we might be here for a while. <laughs> 